we are going to be taking a look at what happens to the mass when sugar dissolves into water. So at this point, the question that I have for you to answer is if I were to pour the water into the sugar and mix it, would the mass of all of this go up, go down, or stay the same? So first what we're going to do is figure out the mass of everything beforehand. I have a little toothpick there because that toothpick is going to be used as a stirrer so I can stir things up and I'm going to weigh that along with everything else. So right now I am weighing two measuring cups, some sugar, a toothpick, and water. And as you can see the mass is 19.16 grams. Let's move that a little bit closer so you can actually see the full decimal point. There we go, 19.16 grams. I'm going to take the water, pour the water over the top. I'm going to turn off the scale for right now. And stir. I'm just going to pick up and stir. Try to get all of the sugar to dissolve completely. And you can see that some of the powder has already disappeared. All right, so the sugar, for the most part, has completely dissolved, almost. There's still a little bit pooling around in the bottom down there. And again, we did measure the two cups, as well as the sugar, the water, and the uh, toothpick. I'm going to put these to the side for just a moment, so I can turn on the scale, so we can start off at zero. I'm going to take both of these and put them back up on top. And there's the mass of the sugar, the water, dissolved in each other, and the toothpick with the two cups.